What's going on guys, Pat RC 120 bringing you an NBA 2K14 EVVC. So I'm going to go through this video, as you see I'm already loading up something. What this is, is my exhibition game. The easiest way to get fast DC is start a 12 minute game, 11 minute game, 10 minute game, 9, and 8. And each time you add a minute or subtract a minute, you get 50 VC. So the max one you can get is 600 VC, which is a 12 minute game. And as you see right there, I only started off at 30 seconds. So what I did, it's a 500 VC. So that's my 10 minute game. So what you gotta do is play it out. I know it's terrible. You can see my score is not very low. So what you do is go to your settings, turn off everything, turn the gameplay up to 100% speed, turn everything off, shot clock, all that stuff. So that way when you're playing, you can just hold onto the ball and it won't matter. So you see right here what I screwed up. They didn't have the ball with five seconds left because I didn't. I, I messed up completely on this one. So I actually have to play defense every time I play this game because I can't go to overtime. So they end up scoring. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Because no matter what, you play the game. But you know I'm not going to lose. So I put up Rudy Gay's game winner. And they're going to do all this stupid stuff. So I ended up winning this game. So I'm getting my extra 10, 10 BC that you get for winning. So the point of all this is, once you take down all the clock, get to your last 30 seconds, you have to score a bucket, call timeout, do something so that it saves that point of the game because if you if you don't do any of that stuff in their second quarter you play it out and you just stand there and you save it it's not going to save at the 30 seconds it's going to save it at the last time the ball had to be inbounded or there was a time in possession so you have to get to the 30 seconds do something foul out do something i don't care what you do but you have to get it there so you save it and you come back and you play it that early so i'm just going through here showing you that it works Showing you every time that I get a load up, I get my VC. 400 was the lowest one I've done because I don't want to go through another 7 minute quarter and do all that stupid stuff. Because I don't need VC that much. My team's looking pretty good and I just want to buy a couple players here and there. So here I am with 35,000. I'm also going to show you, because you can only do this every 20 minutes. If you try to just keep loading them up, it doesn't work. you got to give it a 20 minute reloading. So then you can load it all the way through. So go play a game. Go do some homework or whatever while you're doing it. So here I am. I'm going through my last one with uh, Indiana Pacers or whatever. This is my 600 BC one. See, look out here. I got my nice lead that I want to get screwed over on that one. And uh, what you want to make sure is that uh, you don't go through another 12-minute game. I, I cannot confirm or deny if that works or not. But I've seen other people make videos like this or done this glitch. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure that if you do another 12 minute game, it won't work. That's why you have to do 11, 10, 9, 8 minutes. So you see right here what I was talking about with my career. 32 points and I got my A+. If you care about your my career, I don't suggest doing this. But this is my second power forward. As you know, I'm on the Pacers on my other one. So this one I don't care about. So I got 552 VC. So what I did was I got my A plus as fast as I could and I fouled out. Because I went to the times two game, twenty minutes is up. I only spent like seven minutes in that game. But you know, I got my VC for fouling out as quick as I possible could and I got five hundred VC for it. So look at two K right here. Twenty three and one on my team. No, I didn't lose. I got cheated out of this game. Pissed me off, man. I was in the game. I think I was down by two points in the fourth quarter, right when it just started. And the network disconnected and it gave me the loss. I was screaming my head off, telling all my friends what happened. They said he did like a lag out glitch or some stupid shit, man. I don't know what went on. But I ended up losing that game. Really making me mad. So I haven't lost on my team yet. Except I played my friend the other day. He was a. Uh, subscriber and he messaged me and said he wanted to play me and he, ended, he did end up beating me by three points because I made some stupid mistakes but it didn't count up against my record but he played good and he ended up beating me so I'm going here showing you my rest of my VC getting another Al Jefferson which I don't need I'm going to spend my VC on these gold pluses trying to get some more VC or a decent player 
and here I am getting a Roy Hibbert. So far, this is a terrible package opening. Waste of my VC. They kept on giving me doubles, and I 2K just really wanted to make me mad today. They they hate me for some reason. I don't know, but they give me loses when I don't lose, or losses when I don't lose. They give me doubles all the time. Another Roy Hibbert back to back, making my VC just go down the drain. I can't understand why they don't just give me someone like Carmelo or someone good. Perfect my lineup even better. Cause Julius serving, cause I got him in my last video. He's a beast out there. But when it comes crunch time, clutch time, he doesn't hit threes. Can't hit mid range really, and he kind of screws me over. So here I am getting David Lee twice. Don't really want David, so I'm gonna sell him. My friends told me if I ever get an Al Horford, keep him, cause he can hit it when it's clutch time. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep him, but I'm gonna go over here to my team and sell somebody. Probably end up being David Lee and Dirk Nowinski. So I gotta look at their stats real quick. Look at Al Horford's stats, see what he can do. Whichever ones are worth some VC, I'll probably get rid of. I already have a really good starting lineup. It's like you can see, I'm 32 and 0, or not 32, 23 and 1. Nah. Uh, I like how it says your total value, how much everything's worth if you sold everything. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. But anyway, here I am going through selling people. I really don't want to sell Dirk. Cause he's a great outside shooter when you need something, but usually in your lineup, I mean, he's really, he's really slow, terribly so, and he's just, he's good in the real life. 2K, he's not really that good. So you can see there when I was 5-1, I'm gonna end up playing this, trying to get into my uh, tier 4 on the road to playoff. I need two more wins to get there, and if I don't win, I'm safe, cause I already got the 5 wins. So here I am buying the rest of the DC. Once again, getting a player that I don't really want. But, that's alright. I want to go ahead and buy one more gold plus, I think. And let's see what I get. I get a Ty Lawson. I'm probably going to end up selling him. He's a really good player, but I don't really need him. But, go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. Message me and comment if you have any questions about how to get this easy VC. It's really not that difficult. I've done it in a while, and it works really great. But, thanks for watching, guys.